can dance just in time for that big Valentine's date. We'll take you to the San Diego studio of the woman that helped teach the nation to dancing on national television and can help you learn to move like the flamenco dancer. And the best part is she lives right here in San Diego. And Janine Marquis was lucky enough to get an exclusive dance lesson with Mary Murphy. Up until last year, there has never been ballroom dancing the way we're seeing it now. Now everybody's interested into it. And now coming down the floor is Professor Io and Leticia. And they're doing, again, American style tango, which you can see has a lot of sharp movements. We heard about the reputation. I mean, this ballroom had been featured many times on TV. Even from Santa Barbara, we'd see people from TV who came from Champions. So uh, we were so excited when we moved here. We came right down here, and luckily Mary Murphy took us on as students right away. Just the fact that we can't be too Who can come to Champion Ballroom? Like, who, what's your clientele like here? Most people that come in here really do have two left feet. But I swear to you, I swear, we can change all of that here at Champion Ballroom. There's a new language involved when you come into ballroom dancing. So they're going to learn the basic elements and then how those steps are going to be put together. And then it'll make it a lot easier when they take the group classes because they'll know what the instructors are talking about. We have um, kids as young as six years old all the way up to 80 years old. After talking to Mary, I am so inspired to get on that dance floor. She said that she could teach anybody. We'll see what she does with me. <laughs> this isn't for everybody out there, but if you aspire to go to that level, well, you know, this is the place to do it too. But most people come here just to learn a few steps and have a really good time. Oh, come on down. I mean, there's no reason to be shy. You know, I've never met anybody who didn't try it and love it and didn't think it was the best thing that ever happened to them. So, you know, you just have to get up your nerve, I guess, and just come through the door and, you know, the people here are great. Tell me a little bit about your experiences on Fox's show so you think you can dance. Well, that was the first year for the show, so it was very exciting for me and very exciting for them. These kids are fearless, and that also made it so exciting. The audiences were unbelievable, too. I love to teach, and that's what I've been doing all these years, but who would have known that after all this time that I would be involved in anything like this at this time in my career when most dancers are put out the pasture. Valentine's Day is coming up. Would you suggest ballroom dancing as something fun for a couple to do? Well, it's definitely kept us together. I mean, it's... <laughs> We work nine to five all day long at a desk, and it's something that we can do together. And for those of you that are single out there, you know, this is a great, great way to meet people. Walk up, ask somebody to dance, and two seconds later, you have somebody right in your arms. Somebody want to have a little fun and meet your people? Oh, wow, he's ready, yes. It was a superb first dance.